solving this integral using integration by parts. The first step is to choose u and dv based on the Lie-8 rule. We have x squared as u, and the remaining part becomes dv. For your information, I have uploaded a video about the full explanation of integration by parts. If you wanted to know more about integration by parts, feel free to check out the video and the link is in the description. For the derivative of x squared, we get 2x and we write it in terms of dx. Integrating dv we get v, and integrating e to the x we still get e to the x. Now, we have all the terms and we can plug them into the formula accordingly. Notice that we have a constant, bring it to the outside of the integral. Then, what are we going to do now is to solve this integral. For this integral, notice that we have a product of an algebra and an exponent, so we have to use integration by parts one more time. Same thing here, we first determine our u and dv. Take the derivative of u in terms of dx. And integrating e to the x, we still get e to the x. Plug in the terms into the formula and we find the integral of this. The integral of e to the x, it's still e to the x. Therefore, we have x e to the x, minus e to the x, and we have found the answer for the integral. Now, all we can do is take this answer and substitute it into the integral. So we have x squared, e to the x, minus 2 multiply with the answer of the integral. And we're done. But remember don't forget to add plus c after we have finished the integration, and we got our final answer. That's how we solve this integral by using integration by parts twice. I spend hours making videos explaining math topics, and all I ask for in return is simply to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.